Hello, my friends, and welcome to Feel Good Fridays with Pastor Kristen on this Friday before Valentine's Day. Um, I am here at our kitchen table with our Valentine, some of our Valentine's decorations, our little heart tree, and our Valentine's gnomes um, that have yet to have names. So. If you have suggestions for names for our Valentine gnomes, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, I love to name stuff. I don't know if Steven is so big about naming stuff in our house, but I my car is named. I love to name stuff like that. So feel free to drop some suggestions for the names of our Valentine gnomes in the comments. Um, since we are headed into this weekend with Valentine's Day, I thought we could focus a little bit on love. Uh, at our online Sunday school last weekend, our council president, Deanna Simonson, who was teaching last week, shared with us that the word love appears in scripture, and I'm not gonna remember the exact number, but it's like 669 times or something like that. The word love appears over and over and over in scripture because that is what God is all about. And we did this really fun matching game where we looked at all of the different ways that love is described in 1 Corinthians 13. So I want to read that for you today, starting at verse 4. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. One of the things that I have often done with these verses, if I'm teaching them, is to encourage people to take those verses and replace anywhere that it says the word love or is referring to love with a pronoun um, and replace it with your name and then see how it feels as you read that. So, for example, Kristen is patient. Kristen is kind. Kristen is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. Kristen does not insist on her own way. Kristen is not irritable or resentful. Kristen does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Kristen bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Kristen never ends. When I read those verses with my name in there, it is uncomfortable to say the least because I know none of those things are always true about me. But the beautiful thing about it is that you can replace the word love with God and it totally makes sense. We all know that even the people that we love the most we sometimes get resentful, we're sometimes rude, uh, we're not always kind, uh, we fail at truly loving unconditionally in the way that God loves us all the time, which is why it is important for us to forgive one another uh, all the time as well. But if you replace the word love with God, all of those things are true. Listen once again. God is patient. God is kind. God is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. God does not insist on God's own way. God is not irritable or resentful. God does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. God bears all things believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. God never ends. And so this weekend when we have this Hallmark holiday of sharing a love with one another, I hope that we remember that we love 
because God's love has first been poured into our hearts in overflowing, incredible ways. And so may we all experience that love of God this weekend, and may we also share it. The song that I want to share with you today is actually a direct quote from scripture. It's a little uh, probably King James version-ish because there's a lot of knoweth and loveth in it. Um, but it is from 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. And it goes like this. to sing along with me. It is pretty easy as long as you can catch the King James English. <laughs> So this Valentine's weekend, I pray that you feel the love of God, that you feel the love of your family and friends. And I leave you today uh, signing off in a way that a dear saint from my previous congregation always said goodbye. Dear Twyla would always say goodbye by saying, God loves you and I do too. Have a great weekend, everyone. Hope you will join us for worship on Sunday as we celebrate the Transfiguration um, and talk about, share with one another how God is revealed to us in music. Have a great weekend, everybody. God loves you, and so do I.